Um, I've heard about Christmas Future for a number of years and was lucky enough to uh, be one of the first volunteers to get involved. And, um, I remember very clearly the first few um, board meetings and feeling very stupid <laughs> as I sat around with um, a lot of very intelligent, very experienced, um, what I call big brain people. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's just been wonderful over the last few years to see Jay's idea sort of take shape uh, and to see wonderful people come and get involved um, and just to see what a wonderful idea, what happens when very intelligent, very committed people get involved with a very wonderful idea. Um, about a year and a half ago, uh, we sat down and started to think of a school program, what a school program would look like for our Christmas future. And our main goal was not to fundraise. Um, as I've uh, been a school teacher for a number of years, there was no shortage of organizations that want to come into a school and get money. Um, and as we started to plan the school program, we didn't want to be an organization that merely asked kids and their families for money. Um, our primary goal was to raise awareness. Um, we wanted kids to have their eyes open a little bit to what the living conditions are like for a billion or so people around the world who live on less than a dollar a day. And that's very difficult. Um, as a white European male, I can't say I have a great understanding of what it's like for those billion people, but we have tried to develop um, as best we can a program that uh, raises awareness. So our, uh, that's the primary goal of the Christmas Future Plan, uh, the education plan, is to raise awareness in North American kids about the living conditions of so many around the world. Um, as Lee said, we piloted Christmas Future last year uh, at the Calgary Science School, where I'm a grade six and grade seven teacher. And the pilot program and the school program basically has three prongs to it. Um, we have a very wonderful, generous staff at the Science School, and they all agreed that getting Christmas gifts from students is wonderful, but giving that money away is even more wonderful. And so as a staff and administration, uh, we all agreed that um, we would ask our students not to buy us any Christmas gifts, but rather to donate that money to Christmas Future. Uh, that raised uh, about $11,000 last year. Uh, the second part of the um, Christmas Future pilot project was um, the education piece. Uh, last year we started developing lessons. Uh, we developed a 12 lesson package. And the idea there is to provide the best possible resources we can for teachers who want to teach their kids about extreme poverty. Um, so that package is downloadable, uh, and it will continue to grow, continue to be revised and developed, so that teachers around Canada and the US can all be downloading the teaching lessons. Um, we also are encouraging teachers to add to that to, to the that living document as it continues to grow. And then the third piece was to allow students a chance to donate themselves and to ask their parents to say, Mom, I want one less gift, or Dad, I want one less gift this year. Can you make a donation to Christmas Future instead? Um, the pilot project was incredibly successful, and I'd say not just from a from a financial standpoint, but um, from the way it impacted kids. Uh, it was a catalyst for incredible discussions in my classroom and in classrooms around the school. And what we did is we set up a week uh, at the end of November every year. Now our school will have Extreme Poverty Week, um, where lessons are available. We bring in guest speakers. We have documentaries, and as a school. Um, we have our 600 kids examining the issues around around global poverty. Um, what else? As we move this year, um, we are again. Science School has invited us back. Has invited Science the uh, Christmas Future back this year with Donor Trust. And I'm really excited to see um, what happens when the technology is put in the hands of our of our students and their families. So we're adding that piece. Who emailed me in the middle of class? as a guest speaker was speaking. And she said, I'm watching my kids' lives being changed right now. Mm -hmm. So she had a guest speaker in. The conversations um, were amazing. She said, I can see my kids' lives changing in front of me. And the other one um, was a grade five student, 10 years old. And he said, simply, we are richer than we think. We are richer than we think. And I think, that's the goal of the Christmas Future Education Program. So if we can get as many kids and as many adults, myself included, to understand that, that we are richer than we think, uh, then Christmas Future will do wonderful things in the world. Thank you very much.